it's important to realize that enumerations really do come down to numbers, just like really anything else in programming. Meaning, if I go ahead and hover over one of these, is Visual Studio not going to do that for me? Um, nah, it's not going to do it for me. Each one of these things actually represents a number behind the scenes. Now, a lot of people use enumerations and they convert them in between two numbers and from numbers. I don't really like that. To be honest, I don't really like having a. Um, you, what you can do is you can actually do a cast to and from numbers from enumerations to get the underlying values. I personally don't like it. I do it every now and then when it's required, but ultimately the most important thing to me is that you think of an enumeration as defining basically your own numbering system where you get to name the numbers. And having a correlation between this numbering system and something external to it typically results in code that may start to lose the benefit of using enumerations in the first place. You'll notice actually that's exactly why I wrote out this if statement like this. I really wanted to be very explicit about what number the user is entering and have that be manually converted into one of these values. It makes the code a lot more solid. That's not to say I couldn't go from a number to an enumeration value because technically you can and you will see that done and occasionally I do it. But what I am saying is that when you're using an enumerations, you should try to think of the values that you define here within your enumeration definition as being not within the same numbering system as something like decimal or hexadecimal.